Welcome. It's the 20th of July. This is Google Summer of Code, Get Cash Maintenance. Purusha Kesh, what topics would you like to go over? I know we've got upcoming the, the presentation that you'll be doing. Looking forward to that. Do you want to review your slides with us? Would you like to talk about your demo? Do you want to test drive your demo? Are there other things? Uh, I just wanted to, you know, talk about the slides, like what okay. I have made and what exactly is important because I made a very big presentation. So I, uh, I should I cut short it or, you know, how do we do that? That was great. Something. Okay. There was another concern. So basically um, from August first week, I have my exams up there. So, mm -hmm. so you I will be really, unavailable during that yeah, period. Yeah. Good. So, but then I've received a mail from uh, Google that, you know, if you want, you can, uh, like, if you're busy in the middle of the coding phase for like a week or so, you can extend your, uh, you know, uh, GSOC uh, period towards the end for a, a week. Oh, so, oh, I didn't, I didn't know about that. Now, is, is that your preference? Because my assumption was their expectation is you'll spend about 175 hours total. Yeah. And if you, if you take a week for exams, so long as you spend the 175 hours across the project, the, we don't have to change the schedule. You know, if you feel a need to change the schedule, I'm, I'm fully supportive of that. But uh, the, the goal is be sure that you've, you've, you've done the, the effort that you intended and spent the time that, that they mandated so I'm okay if I, I can certainly ask our org admins if they're willing to allow us to extend, particularly if Google will allow the option. Uh, that was something I was, uh, you know, considering if assume in the middle, I don't get some time. Like, so mm -hmm. uh, that's an option, right? Is what I wanted it is. to ask. Yes, absolutely. That if, if Google allows it, I have no problem allowing it. Absolutely. They'd be happy to uh, do it. Okay, because they were like you had you had to ask your mentors. So right now, why. now the scheduled end is sometime in September, right? And this wouldn't change mm -hmm. it. It would still be in September because the last week of September, I'm in Orlando, Florida for DevOps World, and okay, so yeah. that would be a that will be a difficult time for me because I'll be very busy. And shortly after that, I'm going to take two weeks of vacation to go with my wife on a special trip. So. Okay. I think it would be in September itself. So. Great. Then, so long as we don't spill into October, no problem for me then. That's great. Full support. Okay. So, yeah, that was one thing I wanted to. Uh, also, regarding the second phase, like, uh, do, when, when do we start about it? Do we start about, like, uh, you know, implementing the things from next week itself? Or how, how are we going to proceed? That was what I thought. If you'd be okay with that, I think next week is a great time to begin the second phase. You'll have done your presentation. You'll have been able you, you the presentation is also a chance for you to organize your thoughts, right? It helps you think about, hey, we've done this, we've learned these things. Here are the things that we've found are important. These are the things that we made mistakes on when we did the initial thinking. We know better now, and we're going to lay out now the plans for our next, and I think starting next week would be great. The presentation actually helped me, you know, revise everything. Of, right. You know, yeah. Well, wait, it's it, what, what you did. You do some. You do some very serious thing. At least I do when I'm creating a presentation. I do some very serious thinking about how should I explain this, and the act of explaining it makes things much clearer for me. Oh, yeah, that means I need to do this. You know, I forgot about that. And while preparing the the presentation, I was reminded. Oh, this thing has to happen, and this thing, and yeah. Very good. That's great. Now I understand the project even better because I had to explain it to others. So. Right, right. Okay. It's a, now, but wait a sec. Why is it that? Because it works. It does. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. So did you, you had mentioned your slides. Do you want to share your slide or are yeah, there other sure. topics before we do your slides? Because if mm -hmm. there are other topics that are on your mind, let's be sure we get them as well. Uh, no, there, there's nothing, nothing, no other topics. 
like most of them are related to you know the next phase of coding so i think yeah we're good to go i think can can i share my screen yes yes i i think well let me let, let's see maybe i haven't allowed it sometimes i forget to grant permissions just a minute let's see if i can find the uh the security thing yes you should be able to share your screen so on the bottom menu there should be a share screen share button screen. okay and then yeah oh one minute so can you see my screen? I can see it just great. Looks wonderful. Okay, so this is how this is the theme of you know how I'm going to start my presentation. First would be you know the intro page. Then uh, I would talk about myself. Okay, I was uh, you know uh, glad to see a Jenkins. Uh, art logo about Hyderabad. Okay, I am from Hyderabad. So yes, the Hyderabad. Just, that's the Hyderabad Jenkins area meetup logo. I know that logo. Uh, you know, I stay very close to this building. So yeah, uh, uh, I'm going to. You know, the second page is about introduction. So I'm going to introduce myself. Then, this was this is like you know. Uh, agenda of what uh, what am I going to talk about and this uh, this is a, a general overview of how git works internally so it, because I was not sure like if everyone knows how uh, things work internally so I thought I'll give a basic overview and uh, about caches okay how exactly caches works on the Jenkins controller, uh, you know, a basic overview, like what, what are caches, what are the disadvantages of caches on Jenkins. Okay, the, this brings us to get maintenance, which was introduced in version 2.30. So I'll be, should I explain each one of them? It was what was my concern? Because I made slides regarding all of them here, so. I, I wouldn't just because merely the fact that you're saying these things exist is already enough. And, and you're probably at this point already one or two minutes into your presentation. And, and so let's, let's see first, because I think you still plan on a demonstration, right? You're not just... Yeah. So I would not mean, I would not describe what each one is unless there's one where you say this one is so crucial. For instance, for me, garbage collection, I've been astonished at times when I discovered a, a, an, a, an unoptimized repository and how much faster it was after we optimized it. But, but even that, it may not be because most people will probably know, oh, yes, garbage collection collects garbage. Okay, so, uh, so, it, so do I like skip all of these uh, slides? I think it would take a lot of time explaining all of them. So I, I would think you would skip them and maybe okay. you put them. Let's test it to see how it feels to you as you go forward, because for me, I wouldn't, I don't think your audience cares as much about the details of each, each maintenance task as, hey, how are you approaching it? What's the, what's the experience going to be for the user? And what were the design problems you encountered? And what are the complexities you found? Th this piece they can learn, they could go study the Git maintenance command and they can learn that for themselves. Whereas your project is something they can only hear from you. Oh. So then I, I think I will uh, skip these uh, these things, the exp uh, explanation for all of these. Uh, okay, and then we have the demonstration. So yeah, and then uh, this, was a, this is a simple, you know, high level overview of the architecture. Uh, Good, yes. Yeah, so so I, I assume your demonstration will already probably be three to five minutes talking about, hey, watch here, I'm going to, we're going to show you this debris filled repository that starts with, 
now I'm going to schedule it. And then while, while you've scheduled it, you're probably going to talk about it. And you made that may be the place actually where you might bring back one of those slides and say, okay. hey, while this garbage collection is happening, let's talk about what garbage collection is. Okay. And, and maybe that's the place where you insert because you need you may need filler while the process runs, right? It's it's not a it's not a zero time process. This is not a super fast process on large repos even. So so there is your maybe your place where you can say, yeah, let's talk about what GC is. Here's this slide that talks about it. Remember that the, the process is running now. I'm talking to this slide because you need we need to I want to have something. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, I thought I'll uh, display the commit graph command because that that is going to have a, that is actually a very beneficial maintenance task, and I can even display the performance gained using a comment graph. So that was something I thought I'll talk about. Um, then this was a this is a high level overview uh, about the architecture, and uh, these are the challenges I encountered. So uh, yeah, and the next phase of like what I am going to talk about, and yeah, that that that's it. Excellent. I I think your presentation is spectacular. That's you you hit exactly the right topics. Well done, and you've got relatively few slides, and they've got interesting imagery on them. I, I'm I'm impressed once again by somebody using Canva. You're the second person in about 10 days that's shown, shown me something in Canva. And wow, that's really quite elegant. It, you look like a graphic design professional, Rushikesh. Well done. So, yeah, I, I spent my entire weekend doing this. I and my mom, okay, so both of us uh, spent that, uh, family time doing this early. So, uh, well, so you be sure you tell your mother thank you. Yeah, that's yeah. It, it really is a good looking presentation. Well done. Yeah. So that, 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 that's what uh, is what like I'm going to present tomorrow. I'll have to give few trial runs again. Last night I sat in did few. Uh it, it's coming around seven minutes if I speak or you know, all of ah, these. So, so the, the demonstration is seven minutes or the total slides uh, no, are seven minutes? Seven minutes, all the slides without, you know, G, uh, describing GC, comment graph, all of okay. them. It comes to around seven minutes. So I didn't do the, you know, trial run for the demonstration, but I'm assuming it would take around five minutes. Well, so so the every bit as much as you want to practice the practice the presentation, it's even more crucial that you practice the demonstration because demonstrations have this terrible habit of going very badly if you don't rehearse them. Okay, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll have to try that out once because I have to, you know, try, I'll, I'll try unpacking all those uh, pack files once and copy paste them into the caches folder and yeah, I'll do that once today. Exactly. So yeah, uh, that, that, that was all about the presentation. So I'll, I'll, I'll stop sharing my screen now. That's great. Yeah, thank you. So do you, would you like to work through your demo as well? Do you want to just show the demo now? Because for me, the slides that you presented look good. And you've got, you've got a total of 15 minutes, right? That's yeah. all they've allowed you is 15 minutes. And there are four, four presentations and it's a one hour webinar. So it's probably even slightly less than 15 minutes because there will be some intro and there'll be some end. Yeah, uh, the thing is I've written all of them down on a paper, okay? So okay. Uh, I'm not sure, like if I have to give it right now, I think, uh, you know. No, no problem, if it's not helping you for me to have you do the demonstration, that's just be sure that you've practiced multiple times. Yeah, yeah, I, I'll do that. Uh, I started recording myself and, you know, checking whether I'm messing things up or not. So, yeah. Okay. And do you find recording yourself to be annoying like I do? It's, it's, oh, I'm annoyed at this. Oh, that I said that wrong. I said that wrong. 
I, I paused here. I said, oh, a lot. I said, <laughs> I'll, yes, exactly. It's like, oh, I'm supposed to sound like I'm a TV announcer, meaning I never make a pause and I always say words perfectly. And no, I'm not. I'm just me. So, yeah. Uh, is it fine if I can, you know, read it from a script? Because yes, I, yes, I'm kind absolutely. of new to it. So yeah. there's nothing wrong with you reading it. Uh, it's oh, okay. it's better for the audience if they see your eyes staring at the camera. So if you can put your text somewhere near you as yeah. you're reading it, okay. then they're they're mis they're they they can be misled. Call it what you will. Just like TV TV news people the words that they're reading are right next to the camera. Why? Because that way they're staring at the camera when they're, when they're saying it. Okay. Uh, so, because this is one of the, like, my first presentations ever. So, I'm kind of nervous and excited. So, to see. Great. Any, any other topics then that you want to go over? Oh. Uh, there's nothing uh, right now. I, what, there was one thing which I've stated earlier. That was about the G soft thing. Uh, other than that, now so there the, are no other topics. By that one, you mean the, the potential extension of, of a week? Yeah. or Yes. Yeah. And, and so that one, so long as we don't spill into, spill into October, no problem for me. Oh. Uh, this uh, something off topic which i wanted to ask is there any like uh like a future workings like with jenkins like after the gsoc phase is there something uh yeah. like, where i can look into is there something like that in jenkins? yes we have we have many many places where you can contribute okay. um if you if you're interested in contributing to the git plugin there are several additional things that it needs if you'd rather broaden yourself and you say, oh, I want to learn a little bit more about other things, maybe you want to learn something about front end. Maybe you want to learn something about databases and back ends. Or if you're interested in, I've got a particular research project or a particular project we're going to need help with, which is related to interpreted languages that are embedded inside Jenkins. In this case, it's, it's the Groovy interpreter. And and if you're interested in sort of linguistic challenges, you know, logic, logic kind of things, we've got some very interesting things in that space. So yes, we've got lots of places that you can help the Jenkins project, lots and lots. Okay. So uh, yeah, that was something I wanted to know. Yeah. So so well, for instance, and it, it just depends on your on which things you find interesting, right? Because We've also had Google Summer of Code project ideas that were not adopted by anyone that we would love to have done. For instance, you, you know we've got one project going right now of pipeline steps improvements, right? Pipeline doc generator improvements. Yeah. One that wasn't selected was the REST API generator. And if you're interested in REST APIs, this is, this is a particularly interesting challenge because the Jenkins REST API is generated dynamically from the from the the java code itself and annotations on the java code and because of that it's not that you can read a specification and say what it is it's that you have to read the source code and extract the specification from the source code and and that's really cool because that means all right i mean i can i can look inside the source code with java and you know java reflection techniques look inside the source code and use that to decide and if that sort of thing is interesting to you, where a where a language looks at itself, right? If a language is looking at itself, that's a that's an interesting kind of topic in computer science. Yeah. So so yes, just just no question. There is lots and lots of there are many many things that the Jenkins project would love to have you your help on. And if you find something that's of interest to you, I am sure we can find a way to let you help on the project. Surely. All right. Anything else? Oh, uh, that's it. That's it from my side. Yeah. Okay. Well, then, if you're okay with it, I'd propose let's call it done. And I will attempt to upload the recording. And again, like I noted earlier, if there was something objectionable in this, I apologize. <laughs> I will make it available in Google Drive if YouTube rejects it. 
<laughs> it could have been from our side as well right if we i have no so, idea right i mean yeah. who knows what they thought was <laughs> said or done i just don't yeah so i look forward to this thanks very much rushikesh thank you so much